Over the past six weeks, in the wake of George Floyd's killing, workplaces across the country have grappled with questions of diversity and inclusion. One of the highest profile, the United States military, is no different. I sat down with the head of the Marine Corps, Commandant David Berger, ahead of this holiday weekend, to talk about why he sees moves towards equality as a matter of national security. Renewed and passionate calls for racial justice started sweeping the country after the death of George Floyd in June. But years before that, as alarming incidents of white supremacist activities were uncovered in the military, talks on banning the Confederate flag at U.S. Marine Corps bases were already underway. It was pretty clear from actually from 2016, 2017, that some symbols were being hijacked by organizations and used in a, ver in a very bad, negative way. And last February, less than a year after he was sworn in as commandant, General Berger removed Confederate paraphernalia from all Marine bases. By April, he announced a ban on any public display of the Confederate flag. Why did you decide that? What have you seen? This is not an attempt to erase history, but the bigger symbol is the things that draw the team together so that we can operate with that kind of implicit trust. We have a flag. It's the American flag. We have the Marine Corps colors. We have things that unify us. Anything that gets in the way of that is a problem. Black Americans account for just over 13 percent of the population. The U.S. Army has the highest proportion of African American officers at 12.1 percent. The Marines have the lowest at less than 6 percent. The impact of that underrepresentation underscored by retired Lieutenant General Vince Stewart, the first black man to lead the Defense Intelligence Agency. I've known him for a long time. I would tomorrow morning. I, I would, it would be an honor to work for him, serve underneath him. In a recent op-ed, General Stewart wrote that despite achieving the American dream, he faced a member of Congress who said he only got the position because he must have been close to President Obama. What is your approach to equality in the Marine Corps? If we're actually honest with ourselves, first step, we all have unconscious biases, admit it or not, we do. What do you do to get at what you call the unconscious biases or a system that did that to Vince Stewart? We have to pay a lot more attention, in other words, earlier on, deliberately, intentionally, managing the talent that we have and not let it sort itself all out in the war. A deliberate focus on getting more diverse Marines in the top ranks are in addition to those priorities he tweeted about earlier this year. Put more women in previously gender-restricted roles. Study the costs of increasing parental leave and extend those benefits to same-sex couples. Hey, see that right there? Whatever cultural changes Berger intends to uphold, he knows the Marines must have the respect of the people. Berger watched the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Mark Milley, walk with the president through Lafayette Square towards that infamous photo op after peaceful protesters were violently pushed back. Milley later apologized for taking part. Those of us who have served with him, not just here in the Pentagon, but served really with him, knew that was not where he intended to be. But the politicization of the military yeah. is, is a concern. This is part of the reason why America trusts its military. We understand a chain of command, but we cannot become a political tool either. Berger's goal for leading the Marine Corps into a new era, perhaps best summed up this way. The more senior you get, the more you talk, the less you listen. I am trying to be more disciplined and listen more. That's a message we can all take to heart. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.